is going on, guys? So today we are going to go over doing clip art. I'm doing that for a website right now. So when you get into your back end of Canva, I go with the Instagram post because it's a square. So it all depends on the dimensions you're looking for. Now I'm doing a smaller um, uh, version of these. So this is in 1080 by 1080. So we're just doing uh, 128. So you can go right in here to custom size and you can put in whatever your dimensions are. But I'm doing clip art in 128. So I am doing a website for a photo booth company here in the Phoenixville area and they needed uh, stuff for their service section on what they do and what events they cover. So you can go right in here to elements. Here are a bunch that I've used for this. So here's an example. We've got birthdays. So I took this little clip art that they have. Now they we're keeping it all in one color for the website. So if it's not in black, usually the functions they have right here, you can choose the color. Just hit color and boom, black. But they have a multiple of different colors. So now to get this from Canva to your website, you go to download. Now you want to make sure you pick transparent background and PNG. That was what makes it a clear logo or clip art, however you want to talk about it. So you go download. Now, boom, that's clear, and you can take a look at the work I did. So, still working on this, but here is a example of all the different clip art you can do. Uh, most of them are transparent. I had a couple for this, the harder ones in here, but that is a little tutorial on how to do clip art for Canva. If you have any questions, slide into the Beards DMs and click that subscribe button. This is the Beards channel. Follow me while I'm on my adventures, meeting new friends and living my best life. Exploring this world and everything it has to offer while getting some good food. So click that subscribe button, I dare you.